her video went viral on YouTube with 2 million views. Her normal videos average like 15k views, 12k views, but this video got 2 million views because of the very sensitive topic that it covered. The new trophy wife came to the comment section and dropped a GoFundMe link. This has made people comment all kinds of comments. That comment section is a plethora of variety of comments. But a lot of them are questioning the credibility of her claim. Some think that this is just a fabricated story just for her to gain money from people and just for her to extort people of money because everybody is pitying her, people are being kind to her. So many people are criticizing her, rightfully so, because she made a lot of mistakes that she could have easily avoided. But people are saying that, is she trying to like scam us? And let me read you some of the comments. Someone said, you make a mistake and now you want other people to help you pay for it. And another person said, I'm concerned for all the women who have taken your advice to find themselves in a similar situation. This is tragic. Someone said, to be honest, I started to feel sorry for her until I seen her past video and I was like, she did it to herself. Absolutely true. I think not, not 100%, but she put herself in that situation. All around Beast Mode said, wow, she's coming you people. Ask yourself this, who changes a four-year-old daughter? A lot of people do. Four-year-olds are still kids. Yes. Did the husband get arrested and what was the cop involvement? Y'all deserve to get scammed at this point. So let me respond to that. The husband actually got a police, there, there's actually a police record with his name in it. And let me find that and read that out to you. It has his details on it and the details of the crime that he's being questioned for. I really don't know how the process works, but for now is that there is a document proving that that actually happened and she actually reported it so the gofundme account i feel like it's just to fund her regular lifestyle because if she was dating this guy and she she has her own source of income she's charging 300 dollars per hour to coach people on how to be trophy wives so how do you not have money like how do you not have money if you're doing that for like five years now how do you not have money to survive on? How do you not have to money to live on? And with the way the system is, I feel like she would get some money from divorcing him if that's what she's going to do. Because it's going to be a 50-50 thing, except if they signed a prenuptial agreement. So this document proves that despite her posting a GoFundMe link on her comment section, it doesn't mean that it was a scam. It was actually true. She has reported this and this actually happened to her. So yeah, if you want to support her, go fund her. If you are, you know, interested in support, I don't know what she would do with the money. I don't know if she will take care of the kids or take care of her lifestyle with it, but it's all up to you. If you want to go fund her, the link is in her comment section and you can find it and send in your hard earned money to her account. Yes. My name is Rosa Map and I'll see you again in the next one.